Hey guys, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel. This is a new game that came out. I'm playing it the day it came out, 15 minutes after the trailer dropped and announced that it was available, but you will be seeing this the day after, so I have time to play through, edit, upload, all those goodies. Um, but welcome to the Cruel King and the Great Hero. This is... I don't think this is necessarily a sequel to... There is... I can't think of what it's called. There is a game by the same creators that came out before this that is called uh, The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince, which never even knew it existed when the Switch came out. Absolutely want to play it. So maybe stay tuned for that because that might come as well. Um, but we're jumping into The Cruel King and the Great Hero. I saw the trailer drop this morning. Looks so cute. I was a little hesitant to begin because Personally, I really am not a fan of turn-based kind of combat within a game. It's the reason I don't like Final Fantasy and stuff like that. Um, but the graphics and the really what sounds like it's going to be an absolutely heartbreaking story has me in on it. So huge long introduction. It says continue, but I've never loaded the game before. I really don't know what to expect, but it looks so stinking cute. Dropped yesterday. I will leave a link below to all the information where you could find it. Um, it costs 30 bucks for the Nintendo Switch, but let's go. Let's see what happens. Our story begins far away long ago. Here a human town was nestled within stone walls while the monsters made home <laughs> to the forest. <laughs> I should have waited. <laughs> and mountains beyond. <clears throat> Atop a mountain beyond the land of the humans was a small kingdom of monsters, which was ruled by the Dragon King. But living among these monsters was something rather peculiar. A young human girl. She is so stinking cute. Her name was you? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, because of what happened to her, she longed to become a great hero. Set aside time for her training. Every day. <laughs> uh, if anyone watches the Game Grumps, um, someone made a mashup of them and Space Space Bear, Space Bear, um, where he's singing uh, lyrics from a Link song and he's singing it as it's going, kind of like that, and he messes it all up. I may link that video below because it is worth just that section. It's hilarious. <laughs> I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Um, someone please correct me if I'm wrong and you come across this. Um, but you was watched over by the Dragon King. When you was only just a baby, father had passed on. Oh, And the Dragon King had been her caretaker since. <laughs> I almost wish it went a little bit, a little bit faster on that. <clears throat> The dragon looks so cute. The dragon's king wish was to see Yu's dream fulfilled. Thus, to help you become the great hero she longed to be, <laughs> he joined her in her rigorous training. Oh my god, look at how cute. <clears throat> You, why don't you explore the foot of the mountains by yourself today? By myself? Can I really? A bright sparkle shone in Yu's eyes. Of course, but don't wander, do not wander far. 
Remember what I've taught you. Yes, I'm off. She's got a little pot in her head. <laughs> Before the Dragon King could respond, you had already run off, making her way down the mountain. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> The girl was always full of life and energy, never knowing when to slow down. <laughs> I should let these love up I read them, I'm sorry. With these thoughts in his head, I say that when I keep reading, the Dragon King watched you until she disappeared into the horizon. Excuse me. Well, now, when she disappeared from his sight, the Dragon King rustled into the woods. <laughs> His appearance hidden behind the foliage. So cute. I worry about her being on her own like this. I'll keep an eye on her from here. He mumbled, <laughs> following after. Oh, following after you in secret. Oh my god, she's so cute. He says, all right, if I keep following this path, I'll reach the foot by mountain. There are also mean monsters along the way, so I better be careful. Move. How do we jump? Do we not jump? I assume we'll learn that in this little tutorial phase. She's so cute. Welcome to the first battle. The following will be an explanation on the basics of battle. Yu's stamina will decrease if she takes enemy damage. When it reaches zero, she loses consciousness. So again, a typical turn-based um, game. Like I said, not my favorite, but hopefully we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping if it's consistently this throughout, at least the visuals and maybe the story will make up for that. But we will see. You lose if your entire party is downed and will have to restart from your last save, so keep a close eye on everyone's stamina. Now try attacking the monsters. Press to select, um, press the arrows basically to select an action. For now, select the attack button and press A. Press the arrows to move the cursor and press A to select which monster to attack. <laughs> Just hit him with the stick. <laughs> Good job. Continue attacking the monsters like this until they faint. Eat it, squirrel raccoon thing. Doesn't it say what they are, raccoon? <laughs> Their little mouths go. <laughs> Look at the dragon back there, so cute. Eat it! What do these do? Skill, item, escape, guard. Okay, so at least we have multiple options for stuff that we can do. Just can't do it yet. Smack the raccoon one more time, and he's gone! Yay! Obtain four shells and two XP. Congratulations! You won! <laughs> it looks like the monsters you defeated have run away. When you win battles, you gain XP and shells, i.e. money. When you gains enough XP, her level rises, making her stronger. Stop at the store with shells. Woo! Well done compete or completing your first battle. Although you appears to have been injured in the fight, go to the items menu to heal her. Press X to open the main menu. She's so cute. <laughs> this is the main menu. You will find many resources to aid you on her adventure. 
For now, select an item that will restore you stamina. Press the arrows to move the cursor. Select A. Power fruit! All items that are usable while adventuring are listed here. Move the cursor to aim an item. Press A to use it. Select power fruit to restore you stamina. Select the character you want to use the item on. Press A to use it. Yippee! <laughs> use injury has been healed. Be mindful of use stamina during her travels. If she gets hurt, use the right items before she faints. Sweet. Go back. Back. So it says our goal is to descend the mountain. The little dragon, a cute, to pop up behind us as we make our way. This just is so pretty. This feels very like Final Fantasy and like takes me back to playing Pokemon on like my Game Boy Color, <laughs> honestly, and my DS. During battle, you could perform other actions besides tacking them. You can also use items during battle. Doing so will spend one turn. When allies are, allies are low on stamina, heal them before they faint. You also have other items like ones that deal damage and even ones that weaken foes. Keep an eye out for those. Remember to utilize items to your advantage in battle. Escape. <laughs> this command will allow you to escape from battle. When stamina is low or you don't want to fight, fleeing from the battle is a viable option. However, keep in mind that you can escape from every battle. The stronger the monster, the lower the chance of escape. But if you manage to escape, you can't earn any XP or shells, and be careful when facing stronger foes. If you're not, you might find yourself in a pinch. Run to fight another day. Guard! If you choose guard, the damage you receive will be halved for one turn. Make good use of your arsenal to have the upper hand in battle. We just gonna go attack the raccoon. He bite me, and then I hit him with a stick. <laughs> Ouch. Beat him up. Ooh. Obtain two shells and one XP. Level up! You has gained a lot of XP from battle and leveled up. By defeating monsters, you will gain P. Once she has enough, she will level up. When you levels up, she will will receive stat points. The affected stats are as follows. Stamina. You will faint if it runs out. Energy consumed when skills are used. Stay tuned to learn about skills. Attack. How damage? How much damage you deals. Defense. Reduces you taken damage. Speed. How fast you can attack. Sometimes you and her allies will learn new skills, but there's more. When you levels up, her stamina and energy will both be restored, which is dope. If the monsters seem too strong, you may need to level up more. If you've, I can read, if you're ever faced with this, fight weaker foes until you get strong enough to take them on. Yeah! Obtained fruit power, power fruit. <laughs> um, have you gotten the hang of it? In the journey ahead, you will find yourself facing monsters that will overpower you. But don't, but do not fret. <laughs> There's a way to save your progress before you faint. Press the star to open the system. The star? That's not a star, that's a plus. I don't know the pro controller that well. Press plus to open the system menu. This is a system menu here. You will find options related to the game itself, of course. Do a quick save. If you choose quick save, you can save your adventure with the press of a button. Remember to use this whenever you is in a bind. On occasion, the game will automatically save when traversing certain areas. From the title screen, select Continue to resume gameplay from a quick save. Select Save to create a bookmark or overwrite an existing bookmark. The more bookmarks you archive, the more memories you can save from used journey. Select Load to choose a bookmark to revisit, resuming where you left off. That wraps up how to save. Lastly, you can change game settings in the option menu. Remember to utilize these features as well. Let's do a quick save! And let's go! <laughs> She's so cute! Okay, so I just saved and then it saved for me.
Let's fight a raccoon attack. Ooh, I dealt more damage. Let's get it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah! Obtained two shells and one XP. Obtained power fruit. Let's go. Ooh, goody, goody, goody. Check it. Found power ring. You can equip, or you're, <laughs> you acquired a piece of equipment. Equip it at any time. Open the main menu with X. So equipment. Select who you want to change. Okay, her. Here's what you has equipped. Modify her weapon garden accessories here. Now equip the, the accessory you just acquired. Select an accessory slot and press A. Power ring! Equipable items will be shown here. Click A to equip it. With her new accessory, you has become a bit stronger. Dope! What the heck does the power ring do? I don't know. <laughs> Weapons increase attacks. Guard items increase defense. Accessories offer a variety of effects, so be sure to try out new equipment you find on Use Adventure. Dented pot. <laughs> Tree branch, the nice group. Attack plus two. Okay, so it explains it to me fully. Great, let's go. I knew there was going to be another battle coming. <clears throat> So what happens if I hit guard? Okay, so that really didn't do anything. That was kind of a waste, but you know, I just wanted to see smack of the raccoon. <laughs> the face they make. Like, they look so cute here, but then when you hit them and when they bite you. <laughs> yeah! Obtained four shells and two XP. So I can go... No. Just want to peek at a few things. Here you can view all the items and use... Cycle through different items. This inventory can only be viewed from this menu. Items can be used, can't be used nor equipped here, so go to the correct menu. Wooden stick, dented pot, powering, hero's broken hilt. Mm -hmm. Check it! Found power fruit! Three of them! Okay, so in that instance, we should probably use one of these. I don't remember how much it said. Refills a bit of stamina. Carrots! Uh-oh. Oh, there's a fork in the road. You don't want to get lost. Time to check your map. Press... I know these controls. Okay. So this is a map of the area you is in. Check this to view your path from an advantage. I don't know if that's what I said, that's just what I read. <laughs> this little green, almost like a mixture of a Monopoly and a Sim character shows <laughs> where you is. This exclamation point is your current objective. If you ever get lost, open the map and look for this. Now let's take a look at the world around you. Press X. This is the world map. Press X to toggle between the area and the world maps. Um, the exclamation point will also be disabled on the world map. If you can't see your exclamation point in your current location, exclamation point will most likely be somewhere else. In summation, open the world map and search for the area where it is located. Oh my goodness! 
So he's gonna be doing a bit of adventuring. Okay. So wait, if I go here, since I have to go there, I'm gonna go peek here first. And get in another fight. With two raccoon bros. I do feel like I'm getting a bit stronger than, you know. Obtain four shells and two XP. Okay, let's see what else is this way. See, it was work. How do I get that one? Found endurance seed. How do I... Something's hanging up there, but I can't reach it. Hey, come here, dragon. I saw in the previews or the trailer of the game that you could shoot stuff down for me. Hey, dragon. Just kidding. I'll fight some more raccoons. <laughs> I think that's the reason that I don't care too much for turn-based games, because um, it's just this on repeat. I just want to walk. I care more about the story. <laughs> don't mean to be so negative about it. Get it, raccoon. Psh. Obtain four shells and two XP and obtain a power fruit. So I gotta keep in mind that eventually I can come back up here. She's just gonna say the same thing. Wait, so if I come here, equipment, her. What else did I get? Didn't I get something else? Doesn't say I have anything up there though. Inventory. Ah, uh, endurance seed. I want to know what this is. This is defense. How do I use that though? Maybe it's just something she has on her? So once we figure out how to work with the dragon, we can always come back here to get that one that's up high. So then, if we the wrong button. So we have that on the map, an obstacle. Ew. Okay. Let's keep pressing on. Just kidding, let's fight some more raccoons. I don't really feel like using that, so let's just beat him up with a stick. You play a little bite. <laughs> and then I smack you. <laughs> the raccoons look so cute till you hit them or they bite you. And they look real spoopy. Get it! Psh. I love how the dragon gets excited behind us. Obtain four shells and two XP. Level up, girl! Heck yeah! Look, at it. she just looks so worried back there. So again, making our way. Go! Let's go, raccoons. Oh, love that. I forgot it said that when I level up, I automatically heal things. Before I was at 25, now I'm at 29. Dang, it was only one hit to beat it up. Obtain two shells and one XP. Look at that dragon. <laughs> Space. Oh no, boulders block the road. I can't go forward. What should I do? 
If I hit it with all my might, maybe it'll break apart. Oh my There's the boulder. Oh, she doesn't know the dragon's helping. Stop. Hee hee hee. All the training's really paying off. Oh my goodness. Stop. This is so cute. Look at that stupid bird. <laughs> Am I fighting a bird now? No. Just raccoons again. Get it, raccoon. Whap. Crunch. Eat it, raccoon. Smack. <laughs> I love that the dragon helped her. I'm so sorry. I'm being such a baby about this, but it is so cute in some areas. Obtain four shells and two XP and obtain a power fruity. Let's see where we're at on the map. Okay, we're getting closer. Oh gosh, that scared me. Hi! Dad! Oh! That's so cute! Seeing the Dragon King, you ran to him. A smile on her face. Oh, did you see me? I got all the way down here by myself. Aren't I great? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cute. Absolutely, you. I was very impressed. <laughs> Beaming with pride. Yu's smile stretched from ear to ear. She giggled triumphantly. Now then, let's return home. I'm aboard you. Okay. Oh, sorry. Did that too quickly. Oh, oh my gosh, I could get it to go faster. Thank goodness. I apologize for that taking so long for me to figure that out. You jumped onto his back with reckless abandon. Ah, careful now. Hee <laughs> hee, sorry. Her smile never faded, excitement, have, excitement having taken over the look of her face. So cute. The Dragon King then spread his large wings, taking off into the sky with a powerful flap. Yay! I love flying with you, Dad. Oh, it's so cute. This makes me sad because my own dad passed away in 2019. I very much enjoy flying with you as well. In the blink of an eye, the two have arrived back at their mountain den. Oh. Go to bed. What are you? You want to fight me? Oh my god, I can talk to you. Mr. O'Hare. Welcome back, Miss You. Did your training go well today? Oh my goodness, so cute. It's already dark out, so I shouldn't be out for much longer. Oh, okay. Let's go take a sleeps. Oh my goodness, what are you? Grin. <laughs> Welcome back, you. The world is full of treasure. Let's go on an adventure tomorrow, too. Go to sleep? Uh, what are you? Nick. What's up? <laughs> How is your training going? Uh, did you get even stronger? Heck yeah, I did, bro. You should see me. Kiki. Oh, welcome back. Don't cause too much trouble for Miss or His Majesty now. Nope, I'm gonna go take a sleep. Where did the carpet ends there? Oh my goodness, I sleep in a nest with the dragon. Is it time for bed? Sleep! Good night. My heart. <laughs> when night fell, you and the dragon king would get ready for bed, with you laying on the dragon king's large body as she drifted off to sleep. Once cozy, the dragon king would gently wrap his tail in armor. Dad, what is it? Tell me a bedtime story. 
about Papa. Every night you begged for the same story. Very well, where shall I begin? As he pondered, however, you shouted out, from the beginning, and so it was decided. Very much a child thing. As all stories should, the Dragon King collected his thoughts and spoke tenderly. Your papa was a hero unlike any other. Long ago, the world was neatly brought to its knees by a demon king with, ter with terrifying power. Joined by other monsters, the demon king invaded the land of the humans. The humans had fought back, but they were no match for the monsters. The humans believed that they wouldn't survive. Having lost all hope, they were prepared <clears throat> for their ruin. But then, in one town, a young man rose up against the demon king. Must be papa. But that's all for tonight. You should get some sleep, you. The dragon king's eyes began drooping, just as you had dozed off. A deep slumber ready to befall the girl at any moment. Dad, I... Oh, I love you, Dad, but I also love Papa. That's why I'll become a great hero like Papa. <laughs> Sleeping. Oh, finally asleep. Good night, you. Why is this gotta hit me in all the fills, please? Rest easy, hero. Your daughter is growing up. Badge acquired. Training day. Yippee! Wu, whose dream is to become a great hero like her father, had once again woken up early to start her training. It all began with her practicing how to swing a sword. A stick. Though she may have called it that, she was actually just using a simple stick from a tree. <laughs> She'd found this stick while training one day, quickly becoming her most prized possession. Using it every day since has made it become an extension of her arm. A powerful stick. Hee <laughs> hee, I'll do my best today too. You was great, was in great spirits today, having had her fill from her previous adventure. Her excitement resounded more than usual as she swung her stick with great force. Then... Oh no, stop! Ah, wow! <laughs> Not noticing the boulder near her and with all her might, Wu had struck it with her stick. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it makes me sad. A loud snap, the stick broke in two, becoming nothing more than a useless twig. <laughs> oh, stop, this is so cute. You rush back to the cave's throne room, her tears pouring like rain. With the soft there, there, the dragon king comforted Wu. I've got an idea. Why don't you visit the blacksmith at the foot of the mountain and have them make you a new sword? <laughs> I'm sure they'll have something that suits you perfectly, Wu, the Dragon King proposed. The blacksmith, can I go on my own again? You asked through heavy sobs. Oh. But of course, are you up for it? Uh-huh, okay, I'm off. Oh, the tears. He was still very sad about her broken stick, but getting another chance to adventure alone and the idea of getting a new sword made her gloom slowly turn into excitement. You left the throne room, not quite a spring in her step yet. Phew, goodness. Arthur, are you there? The Dragon King called out and a small spider-like monster responded, sliding down a fine white thread from the throne room ceiling. Yes, Demon King, I am here. <laughs> he looks cute. Ah, your majesty will do just fine. My deepest apologies. How may I be of assistance, your majesty? I know it's abrupt, but I need you to get to the blacksmith before Wu does. The Dragon King wanted the blacksmith to give Wu an easy-to-handle weapon, and nothing too dangerous, he added. As you wish, they are then allow me to take my leave. In a fluid of motion, Arthur ascended his thread and disappeared without a sound. Yes, that should do the trick, but perhaps I should still keep an eye on you in secret. 
The Dragon King rose from his throne as he pondered this to himself quietly. Let's go! You has become much stronger than the monsters in this area, so she can run past them now. Heck yes! Moving left or right all the way will allow her to run faster. She can only run where monsters are weaker than her, however. An area where monsters are as strong as her or stronger, we won't be able to run past them. When she gets strong enough, she will be able to sprint in those places too. Also, when you run, less monsters will appear. Take advantage of this when she's in a hurry. By slightly moving L or while pressing B, you'll be able to walk at her normal pace. But when you walk, more monsters will appear than normal. Cute! Let's see where we gotta go. Oh, shoot. We gotta go quite a ways. Run! <laughs> Get it, girl! I'm so happy I don't have to fight any of these people again. We're running forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. Rat bro. I got Brogan's dick. And smack you with my broken stick. Oh, I still hit you pretty hard, even though I have a twig. Take that! Oh shoot. Obtain two shells and one XP. Let's go! Okay, we still got quite a bit to go. Run! Run! Ugh. What are you? Traveling wolf? <laughs> well, well, if it is the Dragon King's girl from the tip top of the mountain. Oh, but I'm not a bad monster. I won't hurt you. But there are certainly many close by who haven't changed and might. Though there have been many more monsters who follow the Dragon King's example and lead a life of peace. Hmm. How can you tell but how can you tell between the bad monsters and the peaceful ones? Hmm. Well, the bad ones might pounce on you from the bushes. So a monster standing out in the open striking up a conversation like me is probably safe. Probably. Now then, take care of yourself. Thanks, you're really cute. Bye. Oh. Ooh. You're a new moss toad. <laughs> it looks so cute. Pow! Obtain two shells and one XP. Okay, so I wanted to peek at this. I feel like the monster deck. Okay, this is a monster deck. It records the various monsters you encounter on her adventure. It also contains information about each, mon each monster's stamina and attacks, as well as a fun fact or description. Hidden entries will only become visible if you choose the observe during battle. Examine new monsters in order to complete the monster deck. Interesting. We have a moss toad. This feels like Pokemon. <laughs> a frog-like monster covered in moss. Docile in nature, dislikes fighting. Can survive with sunlight and water alone. No two toads grow flowers atop their heads in the same place. Oh, we don't know its traits or its weaknesses. I beat it up once. Raccoon is a common species. Look how cute it is. Found anywhere, but their appearance varies from region to region. The raccoon's tail looks like a dumpling. <laughs> it coos to call for its pack. Rival of the fox tribe. I've beat up 16 of them. Okay. I was just curious. Run, run, run. Frolic, frolic. Can you go this way? I see you back there, dragon. Rut row. Let's go fight. I thought there was like an observe. I'm not exactly sure what that meant. I may have to reread that later. Dang. Are you weaker because you are stressed out?
fast. Oh, so they can kind of heal. Beat them up. Their tongues. I'm not sure exactly what the those emojis mean. Obtain four shells and two XP. I should probably a little bit of hit. Can I check my XP bar? I'm not gonna mess with that yet. Oh, it's like Minecraft. If you hit anything, you can't run anymore. <laughs> My towns. A tayak. Can't wait to get a sword so I'm not hitting you with a broken sticky. Cool, they have to heal themselves. This is gonna get so complicated over time, I feel like. Obtain four shells and two XP. Of power for run. Okay, let's see where we're at on the map now. Oh my goodness, we have quite the ways to run. He's not letting me run here. Go. Look at the little. So maybe I can only walk through new areas that we haven't quite explored yet. It's not letting me run at all. Can I find something different? Oh my goodness, you look so gross. A mousey, mousey. <laughs> oh shoot! So then, possibly with them, I should defend first. Obtain four shells and two XP. Level up, girl. I don't remember what. Is it in here? Was it in here? No. I don't remember what um all of the things are that I'm earning. Like apart from the XP. Uh oh. Let's go on guard first. You're gonna attack me anyway, but then you're gonna do it again right now, aren't you? Yeah, so that again. Maybe. Oh shoot, I beat you up with my little stick. This area is pretty. Aww. I don't know what's up this way, but we're gonna go. <laughs> oh yeah, it's worth it to me. Found speed ring. Found healthy fruit. I wanna talk to you. Oh, hold on, I gotta fight. Oh shoot. They both get to get me. I wish there was a way to try to block them. That's not a thing, unfortunately. Combo hit. Scam. Obtain six shells and three XP. I wanted to talk to you. 
Diligent servant. Miss you. There's a human village up ahead. Stay away for your own good. Specifically going there. Items. What's this? Refill some stamina. Refills a bit. I need it. Okay, let's go back to equipment. Speed ring. Speed plus three? Heck yeah! Let's run! Yeah. Oh, she doesn't run that fast in here. Oh, just kidding. Let's fight someone before we leave. Jeez, OP. They rude dudes. Yeah, six shells, three XP, and then a power fruit. Okay, continue on our merry way. Just kidding, before we go, we got fight. Jeez, OP. Beating me up. Four shells and two XP. Def needed to pause a moment and heal. Oh, I didn't want to take a capture of that. <laughs> oh my goodness, you look like Pokemon with carrots. Ah, these monsters seem tough. Try using a special kill to kiss kill to combat the stronger enemies. Press to select Flame Flash. These are skills you know. Using skills consume energy. This is use energy. If she doesn't have enough, she won't be able to use the skill. Now go ahead and use the flame slash. Select the monster you will attack. Oh my gosh. Jump thrust. You did it. Using powerful skills like that will bring down strong foes in a flash. However, they will drain use energy, so use them wisely. But the energy gets restored each turn in battle, so it's best to use them whenever you can. Also, when you use guard, energy is restored at a higher rate. <laughs> but just between us, <laughs> you is able, you isn't able to use flame slash by herself. The Dragon King is secretly, secretly helping her, so don't tell you, okay? So I can't use it. Oh, look closely at a monster. I want to survey it. I have the best ears around. Just don't make too much noise. Yeah, you can hit me. That's fine. That was worth it. What's this other one? Let a weakened enemy go free. No, I shall take you. Did it say rabbit trouser? Rut row. I'm gonna attack it anyway. I'll heal after. Ew! Obtain six shells and four XP. Let's go to our monster decks real quick. I want to peek at that one. Rabbit trouser. <laughs> A firm carrot is the weapon of choice. Looks cute, but never backs down. Aggressive, but will whimper away if it's carrot breaks. <laughs> carrot seeds are sown at birth and grow to become their swords. <laughs> Sensitive to noise. Interesting. Damn, when it's attack, it's defense. Okay. We will get our sword, and that's probably where we will end this video.
Let's go carrot tra- or rabbit trouser. Carrot trouser. That's not its name. Miss. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Let's peep where we're at. Okay. Almost there. Check. Down 120 shells. Heck yeah. Go shopping. You are so cute. Traveling sheep. Huff, huff. You're the young lady from atop the mountain. I see, so you're going to the monster village. It's just up ahead, you'll come upon it soon. It's a peaceful village where the peaceful monsters who love the Dragon King live. Why does it feel like you're not telling me the truth? I'm sure it will be to your liking. <laughs> sounded like he was trying to just agree to something that he didn't necessarily believe in, you know? Cute. Attack! Psh. Jump thrust, no miss me! Shoot! <laughs> no, 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 miss me! Oh my goodness. Item. Shoot, I need these. Hopefully I can buy some more of these. That's brutal. Rude rabbit trouser. Yeah! Six shells and four XP. And I leveled up. Perfect timing. Let's go, dragon. Now we can run. <laughs> At the foot of the mountain lay a village where monsters called home. How frightening to think of a village full of monsters. But all was not as it sounded. Like all things, there are good and bad qualities, and the monsters were no exception. This monster village was a town created by those who wish to live in harmony. Perfect. Works for me. Let's go. Ugh. You're cute. Hawkin! <laughs> this is the monster village. It's a pretty nice and peaceful place. Oh my god, I love you. Is there anything else this way? I think you're the blacksmith I need to talk to. Look at my sword. <laughs> well, you're the young lady from the mountain, aren't you? Did you need something? You showed the blacksmith her broken stick, asking for a replacement. Ah, <laughs> well, that's no good, is it? My skills are top-notch. I'd be happy to make you a special sword to call your own. Really? You said, the sparkle in her eye returning. But in return, I must ask a favor of you. The blacksmith... The blacksmith told Wu that she'd never, or she'd never, she'd need some materials from the storehouse guards, the storehouse guards house in order to forge the weapon. Here is a list of the materials. Show this to the storehouse guard and you'll be set. Roger that. I'm off then. You said as she left the blacksmith. Run! Okay, so we're going back into here. Oh, <laughs> you're cool. Goldie. I wouldn't give you that name. What do you want? I'm busy. Leave me alone. <laughs> she got hoop earrings and all. Okay. Let's talk to you, kitty. Uh, there's multiple of them. Felicia. 
But damn, st real strict, huh? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Flustered monster. Oops, sorry about that. All my belongings are scattered everywhere, huh? Cleaning everything will take a while. Sorry for the inconvenience. No, no, not at all. You're so cute. Collette. <laughs> Collette's got something in mind for what she wants to be when she grows up, you know. Oh my goodness. This is the stupidest, cutest game. It's not stupid, it's stupid cute. Oh, is this a shop? Oh, I have to come shop at you and talk to you. Talk first. Petra. Hello, welcome. See anything that catches your eye? Let's shop. Bye. Ooh, place the cursor over an item. It's like quantying. The amount, that's basically my dollar amount up there. The shop has limited items for sale. At times these things will be on sale, so be sure to keep an eye out. I'm gonna take five. Bye! Hey! Thank you for your patronage. You're welcome, Petra. Talk to you. Aaron? Aaron Nest? Arendonist? Oh, good day. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy right now. Talk to you? Wester! Oh, hey there, human. Being a gatekeeper is so boring, I can't stand it. Since we're supposed to go up... Oh, I don't think I can. You can't pass without permission, you know. Oh, okay. Always gotta check. Storehouse guard, you looking for a sturdy log? Wait just a bit. Thanks for waiting. Here's your sturdy log. Thanks. Is that all I needed to do? We'll just go peek this way real quick, and then we'll go back. Oh, you look like a dinosaur. Idea? Hmm, hmm, hmm. You're cute. Caesar, whoa there. A violent snowstorm's brewing up in the Crystal Moon Hill. I wouldn't go that way if I were you. Check. Whoa there, violent storms. Okay. Thanks. I just got a peek. Okay, let's run back. So we can finally, hopefully, get our new sword. Run, run, run. Is there anything this way? People to talk to. Harry, hello there. Fine day it is today. You look cute too. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can. Nathan, say, I want something to eat. Same. I'm actually going to order dinner <laughs> after I'm done with this. Ordering out tonight. That's the pretty, pretty tree. Excuse me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Go. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Let's talk. <laughs> Determined face. Would you look at that? Good job. You handed over the lumber she'd received from the storehouse guard. This won't take but a moment, so sit tight. Okay. Squeak, squeak, scrape, scrape, clink, clink, clunk. After some time passed, all right, it's done. Yay! <laughs> She's so cute. The blacksmith presented a wooden star with a spectacular finish. Wow. Sparkle in you's eyes shone brighter than the sun. The stick you brought me was made of a light yet durable wood with this striking hard object like boulders should be no problem. The blacksmith handed you the newly crafted weapon as she spoke. Yay, thank you! You excitedly waved so many goodbyes to the blacksmith, carefully sheathing the sword under her arm as she left the blacksmith. Badge acquired. My new partner. So, we gotta head back home, but let's do a quick save to be smart. 
So this is where we're going to end up picking up on episode two now that it's been an hour. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited to see kind of where this game goes. And I appreciate a lot now that I've leveled up. I don't have to stop and fight necessarily all of the enemies that I'm stronger at if I can run past them. So hopefully that kind of continues to go that way and it helps me be able to get away from my least favorite part of turn-based games. Um, but hopefully you're enjoying. I'll be dropping this consistently more throughout the week, basically on all the days that I don't have Alice till I finish it or like Mario Mondays. I have SMP stuff on Wednesdays and then long plays on Sundays. Um, I think that's everything I kind of have like scheduled. So on all the other days, I'll probably be posting this until I'm done with it. And then what was the other game called? <laughs> I have to look it up again. What was it called? Uh, the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. Just depending on how I like this game, based on that, I'll probably jump into that. If there's, they're all under the Nintendo umbrella, but if there's creators of specific games and they have more than one, I would like to play all of them, just like with Hollow and Hollow Knight 2 that's coming out soon. So tons of games we'll be jumping into, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this cutesy game just as much as I have so far, and we'll see what comes in the future. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>